You're listening to an audio article by the Common Constitution. Today's audio article is entitled, Real Scientists Have a Better Way Back from COVID-19. The nerve of some scientists saying they actually want younger Americans to strip off their masks, stop social distancing, live life, and go out and get the coronavirus. Can you believe these people? How dare they? This is nothing short of heresy. They should be stripped of any scientific and medical degrees they possess and permanently muzzled. Instead, we should continue to listen to the real experts like Fauci, Burks, and the scores of governors and mayors who know so much more than these quacks. However, being the anti-establishment maverick that I am, I prefer to listen to real scientists who've shunned any political bias for the unvarnished scientific truth. Recently, Freddie Sayers at Unheard interviewed three eminent infectious disease epidemiologists and public health scientists, Dr. Sunetra Gupta of Oxford University, Dr. J. Bhattacharya of Sanford University, and Dr. Martin Koldorf of Harvard University, who met in Massachusetts to sign a declaration calling for a different global response to this pandemic. The overall purpose of their declaration is to attempt to influence public health policy regarding COVID-19 and that herd immunity must be achieved. Unlike leftist dogma that tries to scare the population and attempts to convince them that this herd immunity is some kind of wacky, unproven strategy, the doctors explain that herd immunity is neither new or just a theory. Dr. Bartikaria stresses that herd immunity is not a strategy, but an indisputable fact of most infectious diseases. He reiterates that herd immunity is merely, quote, a recognition of a biological fact, unquote. Their public health strategy is to protect those who we know are vulnerable, the sick, the infirmed, and the elderly. All others should resume normal life immediately, back to school, back to work, play, etc. They explain that for younger people, COVID-19 is less dangerous than the flu, and of course they are correct. Many more kids by a huge margin die of the seasonal flu than coronavirus, and remember that's even with a flu shot. Their bottom line is that lockdowns, except for the vulnerable, should cease immediately. Quote, schools and universities should be open for in-person teaching. Extracurricular activities such as sports should be resumed. Young, low-risk adults should work normally rather than from home. Restaurants and other businesses should open. Arts, music, sport, and other cultural activities should resume. People who are more at risk may participate if they wish, while society as a whole enjoys the protection conferred upon the vulnerable by those who have built up herd immunity, unquote. Enjoy their video. There are two ways to view it. You may go to my site, commonconstitutionalist.com, or the link I provide below in the description. And if possible, please watch it in its entirety and please share it. Thank you for listening.